Hello everyone, this is Jimson. Today I'm going to tell you how to trigger a script using a command task with arguments in a task loop. Agenda. Use case for the command task how to trigger a script using command task with argument in IACS best practice summary. Use case for the command task. In this video, we use command task to run a script with arguments on a Linux server. Here the command task executes the following Linux command to create a new file with the argument given as a name. File, on fi file 1 and file 2 gets the argument 1 and 2 and then the file 1 and file 2 get created. Ok, let's move on to the demo. First you need to create a task flow and then you need to choose a command task from the below and then once you choose a command task there you should click input fields once you click at that you should give a runtime environment here I'm using Linux server so I'm giving that particular Linux server once you configure the runtime environment then you should give the script file name here let's go to Venus AP. here I have given the particular script I give the script as script with arguments dot sh under data slash gcs admin so here we should give data slash gcs admin script the absolute path then the working directory where the script is stored if there is any input arguments it should be given in between the double quotes if are more than more one argument it should be followed by comma yeah that's all we set to run the particular task flow yeah we can see our task is got run yeah the argument 1 and 2 is successfully got created as a file best practices always store the script file in the user other than the root user if a secure agent is installed in a Linux machine while you are giving the script file name give the absolute path and then if you are giving your input arguments it should be on under double quotes more than one you should give followed by comma you give the following arguments yeah summary you can find more information about the particular command task step uh, in the below link and that's all for today's video we will love to get your feedbacks using our support video at informatica.com email and you can also submit your feedbacks using our Twitter handle uh, given below.